Green Revolution refers to a period of significant agricultural innovation and transformation that took place from the 1940s to the 1960s. This revolution marked a turning point in the history of global agriculture, leading to increased food production, especially in developing countries, and the modernization of traditional farming practices. The Green Revolution's impact on food security, economies, and societies was profound, but it also brought about a set of challenges and criticisms that continue to be debated today. The roots of the Green Revolution can be traced back to the early 20th century when concerns over global food security began to emerge. The world's population was rapidly increasing, particularly in developing countries, and traditional farming methods were failing to keep pace with the growing demand for food. The Great Depression and the subsequent global food shortages highlighted the need for a more efficient and productive agricultural system. One of the key figures behind the Green Revolution was Dr. Norman Borlaug, an American agronomist often referred to as the father of the Green Revolution. Borlaug's work in developing high-yielding varieties of wheat in Mexico during the 1940s laid the groundwork for what would become a global agricultural transformation. His efforts were supported by the Rockefeller Foundation and the Mexican government, which aimed to improve agricultural productivity and reduce hunger. The Green Revolution was characterized by several key innovations and techniques that revolutionized agriculture. One, high-yielding varieties, hayvees, one of the most significant developments was the creation of hayvees of staple crops like wheat, rice, and maize. These new varieties were bred to have higher yields, be more resistant to diseases, and respond better to fertilizers. The most famous of these was the semi-dwarf wheat developed by Borlaug, which significantly increased wheat production in countries like Mexico, India, and Pakistan. Two, Chemical fertilizers and pesticides, the Green Revolution saw a dramatic increase in the use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides. These inputs were essential for maximizing the potential of hyvees, as they provided the necessary nutrients for rapid plant growth and protection against pests and diseases. Fertilizers such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium became widely used, while chemical pesticides helped control the spread of harmful insects and weeds. Three. Irrigation to support the increased water needs of hyphees, the Green Revolution also involved the expansion and modernization of irrigation systems. Large-scale irrigation projects were undertaken in many parts of the world, particularly in Asia, to ensure a reliable water supply for crops. This was crucial in regions where rainfall was unpredictable or insufficient for intensive farming. 4. Mechanization the adoption of machinery such as tractors, harvesters, and irrigation pumps, played a significant role in increasing agricultural productivity. Mechanization allowed for the cultivation of larger areas of land, reduced the need for manual labor, and sped up the harvesting process, leading to higher efficiency and output. The Green Revolution had a profound impact on global agriculture and food production, particularly in developing countries. One. Asia the Green Revolution had its most significant impact in Asia, where countries like India and Pakistan were facing severe food shortages. In the 1960s, India was on the brink of famine, with its rapidly growing population outpacing food production. The introduction of hayvees of wheat and rice, along with the widespread use of chemical fertilizers and irrigation, led to a dramatic increase in food production. By the early 1970s, India had become self-sufficient in food grains and famine was averted. Similarly, Pakistan experienced a significant increase in wheat production, leading to improved food security. Two, Latin America in Latin America. The Green Revolution also brought about significant changes in agriculture. Countries like Mexico and Brazil saw substantial increases in crop yields, particularly in wheat and maize. The introduction of hyaves and modern farming techniques helped reduce rural poverty and improve food availability. 3. Africa The Green Revolution's impact in Africa was more limited compared to Asia and Latin America. Various factors, including diverse agro-ecological conditions, poor infrastructure, and limited access to inputs like fertilizers and irrigation, hindered the widespread adoption of Green Revolution technologies in many African countries. However, some regions, such as North Africa and parts of East Africa, did benefit from increased agricultural productivity during this period. While the Green Revolution was hailed as a success in terms of increasing food production and reducing hunger, 
It also faced several criticisms and challenges. 1. Environmental impact The intensive use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides during the Green Revolution led to significant environmental degradation. Soil degradation, water pollution, and the loss of biodiversity were common problems in areas where Green Revolution techniques were widely adopted. The overuse of chemical inputs also led to the development of pesticide-resistant pests and the depletion of soil nutrients. Two. Social inequality The benefits of the Green Revolution were not evenly distributed. Large-scale farmers with access to capital and resources were able to adopt new technologies and reap the rewards, while small-scale farmers often struggled to keep up. This led to increased social inequality in many rural areas, with wealthier farmers benefiting more from the Green Revolution than their poorer counterparts. 3. Dependence on external inputs The Green Revolution created a dependency on external inputs such as chemical fertilizers, pesticides and irrigation. This reliance on costly inputs made farming more expensive and risky, particularly for small-scale farmers who lacked the financial resources to invest in these technologies. Additionally, the reliance on a narrow range of high vs reduced genetic diversity in crops, making them more vulnerable to diseases and pests. 4. Long-term sustainability The Green Revolution raised questions about the long-term sustainability of high-input agriculture. The heavy reliance on chemical inputs and irrigation led to concerns about the depletion of natural resources, such as water and soil, and the long-term viability of the farming practices introduced during the Green Revolution. The Green Revolution left a lasting legacy on global agriculture. It demonstrated the potential of scientific research and innovation to address global challenges like hunger and food insecurity. The success of the Green Revolution also spurred further research into agricultural technologies, leading to the development of genetically modified organisms and other biotechnologies in the following decades. However, the challenges and criticisms associated with the Green Revolution also underscored the need for more sustainable and equitable approaches to agriculture. In recent years, there has been a growing focus on sustainable agriculture practices, such as organic farming, agroecology, and conservation agriculture, which aim to balance productivity with environmental and social considerations. As the world continues to face challenges such as climate change, population growth, and food insecurity, the lessons learned from the Green Revolution remain relevant. Future agricultural innovations must consider not only the need for increased food production, but also the importance of sustainability, equity and resilience in the face of changing environmental and social conditions. The Green Revolution was a transformative period in the history of global agriculture. Its innovations in high-yielding crop varieties, chemical inputs, irrigation, and mechanization led to significant increases in food production, particularly in developing countries. While the Green Revolution successfully addressed the immediate challenge of global food shortages, it also brought about environmental, social, and economic challenges that continue to be relevant today. The legacy of the Green Revolution serves as a reminder of the complex interplay between agriculture, society, and the environment, and the need for balanced approaches to ensure sustainable and equitable food systems for the future.